Welcome to today's tutorial in how to access a virtual classroom meeting, also known as Bongo, in your D2L Pima class. I will go ahead and uh, log in to D2L. Again, to log in to D2L, you use the same username and password as logging into My Pima. Once in D2L, go ahead and log in to your class. I will go ahead and use a demo. And from the course homepage, there are a few different ways in which you can get access to the virtual classroom. A virtual classroom meeting is something that your instructor can uh, design and create for everyone to attend a virtual meeting, a live meeting. And so they may share with you in the uh, syllabus or in an announcement or email that they want to hold a live virtual meeting. If that's true, there are a couple of different places where you can go to find access to the meeting. Most instructors will list it in the content area. So I'm going to show you where it may be held in the content tab. In this course, a virtual classroom meeting is inside the welcome video module. You can see that it has a title, welcome to class, and the instructor provides this title for each individual virtual meeting. Also, it explains that it's an external learning tool, meaning that it's a bongo that we are using inside the D2L system. So if I wanted to access this virtual meeting, if I knew that it was the correct day and time that my instructor wanted me to join, I would click on the link and it would open up bongo. Now, if it's the first time you're accessing Bongo, it may ask you to uh, click on a, a tab to move further into the system. Once you do that, you will have access to uh, this information, and this is specific to that virtual meeting. You can see that there's additional information in how to log in. If you wanted to log in by phone um, instead of logging in through the link, it also uh, provides you information to do some pre-checks to make sure that your computer is ready for the meeting and also a few quick tips as well. And so if the blue bar down here is actually blue, this means you are able to join the meeting. If this button is not blue, it means that the meeting has not started and so your instructor will need to start the meeting before you are able to join. Uh, basically, I would click on enter meeting room and it would uh, get me into the virtual classroom meeting. So another way that you can also find the virtual classroom meeting is by going up into course resources. If you click on the drop down arrow and go all the way down to the very bottom, there's a virtual classroom link. If you click on this virtual classroom link, it will provide all virtual meetings that your instructor may have scheduled for the course. Now your instructor may schedule them one by one or they may set up uh, all virtual meetings within the course. And so you may see one or you may see many. So you want to make sure with the date and the time that you're selecting the correct one. And then to join this meeting, since this one I know has already started, I can go into the three dots here under actions if I click on it, I can click on launch. And again, this should look familiar to what we were in in the content tab. It provides the same information as before, and it also gives you the blue button to join. Again, if this button is not blue, it means that the meeting has not started yet and you will not be able to enter just yet. So if you have any additional questions or concerns, please reach out to your instructor.